<coughs> this episode of Gear Talk brought to you by Bucky Mints. If they don't have it at Bucky's, then you don't want it. Bucky Mints. Sugar free cotton candy. Bucky Mints. I'm going to turn that brightness down just a little bit. <coughs> Hey everybody. Okay. Yeah, we're starting to populate. So here we go. So last night we were live and uh, <coughs> people wanted more. So here we are. Are you going to monitor? Mm, yeah. So here we are. Got all kinds of gear around us right now. We just picked up a brand new affiliate uh, patch panel. These are custom made. We had them custom made. We got to pick up um, how we wanted these made. And uh, this is the design we went with for now. Uh, we're going to do some other stuff as well because these guys are awesome. Um, they also make regular kind of morale patches. It's a company out of Canada. They're really cool. And, and uh, they were really generous with us. They gave us a promo code of Bounty Hunter 20 and an actual link. You save 20% on these things, which is huge because... When I bought mine, I didn't I didn't get to save 20%. So because they partnered with us as an affiliate, um, make, get, making us an affiliate, we're able to get these to you for 20% less than the average Joe pays for them. Law enforcement departments all over the country are using them. I know that a lot of people saw us using them, and then they went out and purchased them. Uh, and now we have a coupon code. So um, that's badass. So we want to thank these guys. This is Stinky's Patch. I have not seen Stinky since her patches came in. <coughs> Corona. <coughs> and uh, so we haven't had a chance to get her her patch, but this is her patch. So, howdy, howdy, howdy. Uh, it's a little, it's like 6.30 um, Pacific Standard Time here in the great state of Idaho. The free state of Idaho. The iris is kind of, so what do we got? We've got Lydia's vest that people wanted to talk about Lydia's vest. <clears throat> kind of rude not wearing a, an, a one of our sponsor and affiliate shirts, uh, but I'm, I am wearing a penguin sh what shirt. What time is it? And, 6.30. And she's wearing the Safe Life shirt. So. Someone says, boss, what up? What's up? So. That's one of my favorite bounty hunters to watch. Thank you. So everybody's on this home quarantine. Look at how handsome you look, though. What are... Your eyes are popping. What are your, your thoughts? thoughts on rap music, my, my guy. I, I love rap. I have the Beastie Boys <clears throat> book. If it's not for the Beastie Boys and Grandmaster Flash and, and other people out of New York City, there would be no rap. Modern rap sucks. I don't like it at all. I'm more of an old school guy. You suck. <clears throat> ice cube or ice cannoli. tea? Cannoli. I could say the. I could say that word. What word? Right here. Heights, Virginia. Colonial Heights. Colonial. Virginia. Colonial. Uh, I said. Col I said what? I. I don't know. What else? <clears throat> so do you guys want to dump right into the gear or what? How long did it take for you to get your safe life vest? <laughs> um. <clears throat> Which one? Um, they sent one to me and it was the wrong size. So I had to send that back and then get another one. Uh, but that was my fault. Um, it wasn't Safe Light's fault. And it, but it was this stupid cat's he fault. He has his own vest. <coughs> yeah, he has his own I'll tack vest. I'll show you. Um, it, takes, it takes a few weeks from the time that you ordered it. Um, it really just depends on which one you ordered and what they have in stock. Um, they do, they, they're still shipping and they're still manufacturing, um, even with this pandemic. There's, uh, there's the kitty's vest right there. <laughs> so we're talking gear today, guys. Well, he's going to talk about his gear first. His name is Charlie. What gun do you, what gun do you carry? Um, that depends on my mood. Um, I'm carrying the Canik TP9 SF um, in FDE. It's that stupid filter you put on. And um, knock it off. 
I'm, I'm running that right now on a Safari Land holster. Mm, when this whole thing room. passes and go to the room. and I don't have to save all my money, I'm gonna go with the Sig uh, P320X VTAC gun. Is gonna be my everyday gun for the rest <laughs> of my life. And somebody just bought the OLI PL1 Valkyrie tonight. Very cool. Very cool. Oh, Padilla. Padilla's on. You mean this light? You mean this light, Robert? This light's for bounty hunters. It's too big for you. <laughs> it's, too... <laughs> it's too big for you. Maybe we'll give it to our god hunter. <laughs> Rap music isn't isn't uh, <clears throat> isn't what gear. Why you skip me? Who? Padilla. What do you ask? Obviously, your question was an interesting thing to answer. Guys, I just woke up from a nap and I'm not happy. So yeah, we haven't really have much to do. We hung out with our horses for a few hours. Um. Leave it, brother. Alone. Go. I took a room. nap. <laughs> Go. Watch the movie on Netflix. I'm supposed to be editing videos for you guys, but just not in the <coughs> mood for that. Um, <laughs> is the cat's best bulletproof? Bro, I'm not going to cap because I'm probably not ever going to buy be a bounty hunter. But I don't know what the job entails, but you all seem like you're doing good. Well, thank you, Drifter Films. Thank you. You want an editing job? Hi from Washington State. Hi from the land of communism. Greetings from Brazil. Look at that. Bono Tuco. Tuco was one of my favorite characters in um, Breaking Bad. But yeah, it's cool, man. Thank you. We have a huge Brazilian <clears throat> following on Instagram, but they never interact with us. So, but they, but we do. I mean, Brazil's like our fourth or fifth largest population of viewers on our Instagram, which is pretty cool. So thank you for following us. The best I'm in the process of getting my Fugitive Recovery license, Dustin, Robert, Charlie. Padilla, the best light. Hey, Scott has the class schedule in Monroe. I got to talk to Mike. I'll talk to Mike tomorrow. Um, Mike's been busy riding his motorcycle, catching fugitives and spending time with his wife. Let me oh, call and make sure that he is um, he's still on board. If he is, then then we're good to go. Southwest Florida, you mean like Fort Misery and Cape Coma, or more like Tampa? Tampa Bay Lightning? They suck. Charlie, knock it off. Which state do you, are you live? Look Which at state this are you cute. Isn't this adorable? <clears throat> That's actually a beer co. Is it Shut Tuesday? up. He doesn't want people to know that. It just happens to fit on the cat. We're still trying to get him some uh, We're Idaho. <laughs> Naples. Ooh, Naples. That's the rich people. Can I be your friend? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Naples. Uh, I had a friend I grew up with. He was on, He lived in Marco Island. I actually lived in Fort. No. I actually lived in Fort Myers uh, for a while. My mom retired there. Been going to Fort Myers since I was a little kid. He was Iowa. From your shirt. Fuck that cat. And he was like swinging. I um, fucking hate that cat. You guys need a cat. He's free to go to home. For real, I'm gonna get. Iowa. Him. I was born in Iowa. Iowa City, Iowa. I was born there. I was just in Iowa, <coughs> Iowa um, a little over a week ago and got somebody. Al the great state of Bama. I take that that's Alabama. No, the cat's vest is not. Um, the only thing is you could put in it is probably like little Red ice X. packs. Red X gear. Hey, 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 Red X gear. Um, Red X gear is on the live here and uh, I purchased two holsters for them. And um, I use their uh, holster for my CZ that he custom made for me um, and, uh, f and for my light system that I'm running. Uh, absolutely love uh, Red X Gears. Uh, jump on over to Red X Gear. Um, they will custom make your holsters for you. I ended up, they made one for my uh, Canic, but I ended up fi figuring out that the Safari Lands M&P holster would hold the um, would hold the Canik, uh TP9 Elite and TP9 SF and uh, ended up going with Safari Land for that and, and didn't go with them
for the holster that they made. But but I am sitting on it, and that's why they call me Tackleberry, because it's not the light; it's the camera on the iPad. It's adjusting to the brightness of us moving. Well, stop moving. It has nothing to do with that. And they can turn it off. No, it will look like shit then. It's giving me an idea. So anyway, so Red X holsters. Um, I know there's a lot of companies out there making uh, holster products, but uh, my Red X holsters are by far the best ones that I've had um, so far that have been custom made for me. Absolutely love them. Can't say enough good things about them. Cedar Rapids, Des Moines. I think Des Moines is where we were. It was either Des Moines or, or Cedar no, Rapids. No, it was Des Moines because I remember checking the location and you guys were in Des Moines. <laughs> What's the best conceal? I mean, the best conceal weapons uh, fire. I mean, it just depends what you like. I mean, we have a MMP shield that is a great EDC gun because it's so small and it's so compact. But the downside to that is uh, is that you know you don't have a lot of round uh, capacity with that. I would rather carry a full size gun for concealed carry and be able to have 19, 20 rounds on my gun. Um, and a longer barrel, so I could become more, so I could be more accurate with my shot placements. So, um, I mean, I carry the biggest gun that you're most comfortable carrying, uh, with the largest capacity is, is the way to go. She bought me uh, for my birthday. She got me the TP9 um, SF uh, Elite uh, Compact, which holds 13 rounds. What is that buzzing? Okay. Um, so. You're welcome. That's my whole paycheck. <laughs> Level my 3 holster. Mind. Safari Lamb. My, where's my Safari Lamb holster? It's around there somewhere. Oh, it's on top of the... I mean, for for Level 2 and Level 3, you cannot beat, you cannot beat this. Um, you, I mean, you, you can't beat these. The, the uh, Rapid Force holsters that we're working on a video for, they are really good. And if you're carrying a Glock or an M&P, they're a great option to the Safari Land. They're modular. Um, they're made right here in uh, northern Idaho, and they're and they're affordable. So, um, Rapid Force, you know, we're working on getting a promo code for those as well. Uh, I'm using the Quick Detach system, um, but Safari Land to me is you know is the gold standard in holsters. Question for you. I'm gonna go make something to eat. Well, that Vickers Tactical. Um, you know, I, I mean, I run the, I run the Blue Force uh, Larry Vickers. I run the Larry Vickers Sling for my, uh, for my shotgun and for my rifle. I, anything Larry that has Larry Vickers name on it, you know, is going to be um, outstanding. And uh, it's, it's going to be a great product. And um, I love all of his videos. Uh, we uh, got to meet him at SHOT Show. And um, it was one of my, I hate the term, but it was one of my bucket list things to do at SHOT Show was to actually run into him. And, um, and we got really lucky and got to meet him. Super cool, super nice guy. Super busy, but um, super cool, super nice. And... Uh, yeah, I mean, the dude's an American hero for sure. Which one was he? The one sitting down? Yeah, the one that you're like, ooh. No, that was John Tegan. <laughs> John Tegan. That, that was... I don't crush over many, like... Wait, well, he's not really... Well, he's famous in your guys' world. But besides Shamar Moore... And, and, and Hillary Clinton hates him. John Tegan? Yeah. That's... That's me and the Vickers right there. And there's two Vickers. There's the poster behind them. So that was that was really cool to meet him. But we met a lot of people at SHOT Show this year. Look at my leg bruise where she bit me. So I've got all kinds of different stuff. I've got I've got Lydia's vest. Anybody who wants to go over Lydia's vest, um, we've got stuff to go over Lydia's vest. I've got our radios. Um, <laughs> i talking to um, Zach over at Patriot Eye and trying to put a bundle together, like a bounty hunter bundle, where you've got the stand-up charger, um, you've got a mic and a radio. Hopefully he's tuned in. And uh, I told him that we were doing a live. But, so, yeah, this is the Nightcore light that we just did the review on. 
um, <clears throat> they were cool enough to send us a light, and this this it's got that that um, off frequency strobe, which is really awesome and badass. And the really cool thing I learned about it is since I'm an old light guy, they've got it comes with this really badass little holster, and the badass little holster holds my Olight M2R Pro. What do we got? Questions? How's it going? going What's awesome. up, Lydia? Lydia spelt with a Y. Good thing. Um, a package sounds great. Get all the eggs in one basket. Who said that? Um, the Zach say it? Of Epic. No. That's my idea, anyway. Um, Get the Streamlight Stinger. That's what I run. I ran a Streamlight Stinger forever. Um, it's around here somewhere. Uh, I think it's it's not enough lumens for me. I mean, it's if you get the HL one, it's 850, and if you get the um, if you if you <laughs> get just the normal Stinger, it's only 350 lumens. Um, and what I've learned in gunfights and in doing our job, the <clears throat> the more lumens you have, the better. Um, I mean, this is a Warrior X. I mean, this thing is just this thing's Ready, brutal. This thing's brutal. They, they were seventy nine dollars on the flash sale. Um, <clears throat> these things, yeah, this is you know, it's twenty two hundred lumens. Um, tactical thrower. I mean, this thing just throws. This thing's actually kind of dead. It's um, not even. It's not even fully charged, and it's still blinding the camera. I'm from England. Been watching this channel for a long time. Keep it Thank going. You. Did you watch our documentary that we made with Stacy Dooley? <sighs> Um, well, I was writing it as Lydia last night, and I thought you said it was with the I, Jesus. You're always so mad. <laughs> no, she's not always. She's not always mad, but she's always. Uh, she's always feisty. She's always feisty. So gear questions, guys. Gear questions. Uh, I just picked up this little bad boy. Uh, this is the Sig Romeo. <clears throat> this is the Sig Romeo Five uh, Red Dot. I haven't decided whether I'm going to put it. Um, exactly where I'm going to put it, if I'm going to put it on my shotgun or if I'm going to put it on my, um, my, uh, SIG M400, yeah, but it's going to go on one of those two, the, the Caltech or the SIG M400. Wyatt Summers said, we DM'd a bit on Instagram a few weeks ago, but anyway, I can start in fugitive recovery in the state of Pennsylvania and carry a handgun at age 20? Question mark. Are you telling us or asking? You got to refer to your local knowledge there. Um, we don't do much in Pennsylvania. Most states, especially liberal Democrat states like that, you're, you're going to have to be 21 for a firearm. But, um, you know, the common myth in this is that it, you have to carry a firearm. Not everybody carries a firearm. So, I mean, there are other options, of force options available. You should, do you all carry pepper spray? Oh, yes, we do. Where's your vest? Is mine Mean Green? Yes, you should be. You switched it to Mean Green? Maybe. I don't know. You'll have to look. Oh. Yeah, we carry Fox Mean Green or the First Defense 360 um, <clears throat> 1.3. Those are the two pepper sprays that we that we use. Someone said Mean Green, so yes, OC spray. When running the shotgun, do you carry spare shells or just run what's in the tube? The only shotgun that we're running these days out in the field is our less lethal shotgun, and um, it's mission specific, so. If, if I'm going to do something specific with it or I have something in mind, I'm going to load it specifically for that mission. But, you know, the Caltech, I'm able to hold 14 rounds. I have two different tubes. I can put additional less lethal stuff uh, on the rail. I purchased an aftermarket uh, shell holder for that. So, I mean, I don't run lethal with less lethal. You only run either all lethal or all less lethal. You don't carry any lethal on your person. You don't carry it. You don't use it as a lethal option. Your lethal option is your firearm your handgun so um so I, it's mission specific i have all kinds of different rounds i've got the little star rounds i've got beanbag rounds um i, I don't use rubber buckshot um because you know everything every projectile out of, out of your firearm is uh has got a lawyer attached to Charge it so because mine's like a 20. um what's the one piece of gear you always make sure you have on you me cell phone Watch the video on the basic four. Um, the basic four is besides what you carry. The basic four um, is my concept on the only four things that you need to use um, for this job, which is a ballistic vest, a set of handcuffs, a flashlight, and a firearm. 
uh, or, or handcuffs. Someone says, you're all wrongfully arresting my wife. Just know I'm coming. Mm. You block him. Mm. Why? Block? It's even more fun. We wrongfully block arrested his... How would we have wrongfully arrested anybody? We don't arrest people, number one. We modify their custody. So if it was either a revoke or it was a... Um, or it was a uh, uh, failure to appear uh, notice. No, nobody wrongfully arrested anybody. Uh, 500 Government Way, uh, Suite 400. Just let me know when you're going to be there. I'll meet you there. It's right across from the... the it's right across the street from the courthouse. courthouse. The Kootenai County Courthouse. So, love Can't to wait to see you. Love to see you. Yeah. We can discuss the wrongful arrest. Probably treated her humanely and way better than the cops would have if they would have picked her up on her warrant. And and she's the one who did the crime or whatever she did. Mostly. You stay out of our handcuffs, you stay out of trouble, go to court, and maybe not get arrested at all. <clears throat> That's funny. I really want to know. Should we go through Instagram and look at all the women or the pictures we took of all the women we arrested and show everybody? This could be his wife. This could be his wife. This could be his wife. You, you're a dick. I'm so pissed right now. No, I'm not. I don't give a rat's ass. You threaten us? I'm coming? Mm-mm. I hope you... Mm -mm. See ya. Hopefully see you soon. As you can tell, I'm so scared. I'm not scared. I just want to beat a bitch up. No, I'm just kidding. What do you think about Germany? What do I think about Germany? Volkswagen, BMW make great cars. Wait, someone said good question. Horrible leader, Merkel. <laughs> <clears throat> Dustin said to carry a firearm gotta be 21 but can be 18 to be a fugitive recovery agent can be 17 to join the army with parents consent and they f fire well you can die for your country and not have a beer deploy till 18 though it's great uh, well great like in level. Idaho do they switch the age we have constitutional carry anybody over the age of 18 can carry a firearm to have the Idaho in, drink. to have, um, yeah, the federal government just passed a tobacco law. You have to be 21 And now. that's I mean, good. That's good. Yeah, but nobody pays attention to that shit, so. But they can't buy it. I mean, people in my high school were smoking cigarettes. Yeah, they couldn't buy them, but. Oh, I was being sarcastic. You're a fucking Who's dick. being sarcastic? The guy who says you're all wrongfully arrested in oh, life. that's funny. I still fucking hate you, though. <laughs> I might punch you if we ever see you. I'm a subscriber. Thank you. Thank you for subscribing. Your sarcasm is appreciated. Okay, gear. Let's we're, this is the whole purpose of this live is gear discussion. We're supposed to be talking gear, guys. Oh, your wife's funny or your daughter. This uh that's the John Tegan uh nine line hat. And she doesn't she doesn't know about it or she'd be wearing I'm it. his wife, you dickwad. <laughs> oh, we got one of those assholes on you. It's the same guy who said this... properly. Okay, um. If I want to do a ride along, can I come from out of state? Yes. It, re it really depends. Depends. I, on we don't know you from Adam. We and have we to take... get to know you a little bit. But. And, and we, we take, charge. We take French journalism. Yeah, we could be like Bonnie Hunter Tank and charge people. Not the that ride along much. experience. Just to pay for gas for an extra body in the car. And if we have to loan you a vest, we'll rent you a vest. Your wife is funny or your daughter is funny. Wow. We're just keeping on the same guy? No, it's a different guy. Low-key, a badass moment to give your address. Haha, <laughs> too funny. Why don't you go there and see where it is? So it's the, the address on all my business cards. It's the address on my driver's license. You think license. we're stupid to just say our, ad, our home address? We live out in the middle of nowhere. Our internet. Yeah, we have a, your little sensor. It goes off. Um... The first thing you'll hear is the warning shot going over your shoulder with we the have, five five six round. Yeah, sensors. So, so bring it, it on, bitches. Yeah. Anyway, I don't want to talk about that shit. People being a bunch of little pansy ass pussies. We just we'll just block them. I think he was joking. I know it's so funny. Okay. Um. Throw med on that kit. Throw some med on that kit. What kit? 
I'm asking you a serious question about bounty. What is the requirement to be a bounty hunter agent? He it said, just depends, it depends on, on the state. state. <laughs> it depends on the state that you live in um, and whether the state's regulated or if it's not regulated. Um, <laughs> the, uh, the best place to start is um, with some kind of training or some kind of school or some kind of mentor. That's the best way to start. So let's talk about gear. Let's bring Lydia, okay, Lydia's yes, vest so up here. here. Um, do you guys still carry a KSG? Yes. yes and I, I want to get the little baby one. I don't know what it's called. It's just a little baby KSG. So cute. KSG Tactical. Some states don't allow bounty hunting. Yeah, some states. There's five states that don't allow bounty hunting. Order my book. Yeah, his book is on Amazon. So, no, it's not. It's on our website. Don't send people to Amazon. Amazon takes $12 a fucking book. Oops, did I swear? So, this is Lydia's Safe Life Vest. This is the uh, small... It's the small tactical safe life defense. It's the small. This is the 3A enhanced, and it will stop up to the 5.7 round, the FN 5.7 round. Um, these are our Patriot Eye radio holders. That she. We're waiting on. We're trying to we're get. We're trying to. I want to switch this over somewhere because my OC is right here, and I don't like that. And she I loves her OC. I like to spray people. Yeah, she likes to spray people. So I have to move that somewhere. It's just since they don't have like the well, size. Well, we're work, we're working we're working on getting these um, holsters. We're working with Rick. Um, Rick. Yeah, the the company in Texas that we met at Shot Show uh -huh. that's in Robinson, Texas. So my main green. This is the uh, this is the extended taco pouch. Um, which is really cool because, like, she could put her pepper spray in here or she has her um, asp baton. She can put her baton in here. So these, these pouches are for extended mags, but they also work amazing for all kinds of different things. Um, this is the uh, MK4 bottle. It's a, it's a three, I believe it's, it's a, a 360. It's a three ounce bottle. Is it a 360? Three million Scoville units. No, no, the, no, the Fox isn't 360. Well, that's stupid. Because one guy that I pepper sprayed in the little, what was it? I forget what it was, it was so long ago. A little bottle and it was 360 and I was able to put it upside down because the guy was on the ground wrestling with him. So these would be hard, I I feel, to go upside down. Yes, yeah, yeah. Yes, and then she's got her um, X26 uh, with the green doors. Um, she didn't like the fact that I changed her black taser um, to uh, yellow. But I prefer to have all of our less lethal be yellow, so it's identifiable as less my lethal. My first person I ever tased was, was that black one, and that black one was my favorite taser because my it was the first person I like wanted to keep that taser. But no, they need to be yellow. Yeah, they gotta be yellow so that you know it's a taser. And then my are these the ultralight? No, these are the yeah, they should be. This is the taco. This is the taco handcuff pouch. Those are her toy cuffs. <laughs> They're the peerless, they're the peerless ultralights. They feel like toys. Mm -hmm. um, she's not a big fan of the of the hinged handcuffs mm -hmm. like me. Um, so I like these, and they're really nice and light, and they're great for like if I don't want to wear my vest and I just want to like stick them in a pocket. They fit perfect. And that's the taco. That's the taco <laughs> pouch uh, for the handcuffs. Okay. And then I, I just added this. She probably doesn't even know it. I like my gloves. The Condor at, at the Condor booth this year at Shot Show. Um, they had these little clips, these little Molly clips, uh, so she can put her gloves on it. But she's not a really big. She's not a real big glove wearer. wearer. And then we have a single uh, single taco pouch here, the regular one. And I don't, you know, no matter how many O light new O lights I get, she just loves. I love this one. Oh, it's not really bright. Yeah, it is. No. It is. Well, then maybe you need batteries. But you gotta hit it twice. There you go. This is my favorite light. It has the strobe button on it. This was my and very I first O-Light. I break something with it, though. I feel like if I had to. That's like, the first O-Light. Take it into somebody's skin. My, my friend Mark um, at 3 Ops Tactical, um, rest, his, rest his soul, because uh, he passed away at cancer, um, was a really good friend. He's the one that turned me on to O-Light, and, and this was the uh, this was the O-Light, the first O-Light he sold me. In the old light that started it all. And, and then, they don't even make these anymore. You can find these on eBay. They're like 150, 200 bucks because they do not make them anymore. <laughs> but she loves this old light. That's the patch panel. No, this. 
you you have no known drug allergies. So there's my patch panel. So she has her oh, patch my panel. Cuff key right here. That's yeah, she has key. her cuff key up there. She, uh, her patch panel for her. I'm an A positive. She's A positive. We did the. Uh, if you don't know what blood type you are, she went on Amazon and ordered this blood type blood type kit, kit for, for like, like seven ninety nine. Yeah, and you just got free gotta, shipping. And you got to stick and your finger in. I'm a baby. Mm -mm. Took a while. <clears throat> and, and then the thing broke. So I had to just take it out and stab me. And then our, my stepson was there. And he's like cracking up laughing at me. And then he tells me, you're sp you're like this badass per Oh, he doesn't say he doesn't cuss like that. But he's like, you're You're this bounty hunter girl and you can't, can't get take a needle. A little, a little I was abused stick. growing up. My dad would just stick me with cattle needles and those for long so mm -mm. so she's we found out through doing the test for nine bucks so if you don't know what your um i mean i guess we could put a link in here because i'm an amazon influencer nah. partner now so everything on our vest uh i can i can put links up to um i just have to set my it up. favorite part that's like the best thing about this stay at shelter at home quarantine thing is i have, I have so much shit i have to do there's so many things I have to do. And so many things that I have for you guys. But this is the patch panel. Bounty Hunter 20. Um, and you can get your own patch panel. And these things are totally customizable. You can make them in color. You can make them reflective. You can make them gray. You can do <coughs> high visibility green. Whatever you want. Their website's awesome. And then my favorite. <coughs> my team name. Pablo. My team name is Pablo. Just get her tacos and... Call her Pablo. Tacos and coffee and call me Pablo. But that was a joke, so they start calling me Pablo, which is great because, like, we would go to, like, these houses or I would sit in the truck or the car doing, you know, I... Him and Stinky would get out, go search the house or whatever, and I'd be in the truck looking at his Facebook and seeing what's the last thing. Like, I'll be doing, like, stalking on his social media for this guy. And they would call, well, we're going to get Pablo because I'm so small. Like, they needed me to go to a window. And he's like, yeah, let's go bring another guy out here. He's like, I'll beat him up. And then I come out. He's like, you're really cute, Pablo. <laughs> but I yeah, love we had the, we, pissed, we pissed this one dude off so much. He hated Stinky and I. And he's like, you two need to leave. She can stay. So that's her tactical carrier um, so safe life vest. For women, if anybody's in, like, for women, these vests are pretty here. I'll read, we'll read comments later. After we, um, comments later. It's annoying, but um, they're very. It's very comfortable. I've had vests that were actually made for women, like they had the um, the cutouts for your breasts and all that. It would still ride up and choke me when I would sit down. It was yes, Pablo Escobar. Yes, I she, love Pablo Escobar. So that's where the Pablo comes from, because she says, "Just feed me tacos and call me." Because we were watching Narcos, um. The Pablo Escobar Narcos at the time, so that was we were binge, we could we we could we were binge watching that, and um, that's where that came from. Okay, I'm gonna go all the way. We just up shortened it to Pablo and read some comments. Um, no, you got to put your uh, phone on a charger. Oh, you got to put your radio back on. Cause we'll grab these. We'll get a call tonight, um, and then we'll have to grab everything, and I'll be like, "Where's your radio?" And she'll be like, "Uh." On the kitchen table. Um, so I ordered the tactical level three A vest from Safe Life Defense. What rating do you guys use? The three A and the three A plus is what we use. It has a stab rating. Um, uh, Nathan, my buddy Nathan and I, who did the close contact uh, video, that um is all over the Safe Life uh, advertising. We're gonna we're gonna stab these things and do some different things to the vest. <laughs> I like having that additional stab proof uh, factor. I think there's thirty two <laughs> or thirty four layers. Um, in these vests because I've opened them up and shot them and um, um, someone asked yes North Carolina does allow bounty hunting but I believe you need a license yeah you have to be licensed um, oh, we're trying to get our class Bucky Mints we're trying to get our class to be um, uh, shank sanctioned or authorized to do the pre-licensing class because it's only an 8 hour class in, and be in sure to area. use our code when you guys order from Stay Life. so my vest is a wee bit heavier Oh, and a wee bit bigger because I'm a bigger dude. So we have our patch panel. Patch panel, safe life, Idaho flag. These Idaho, these state flags are from patch panel. Uh, Bounty Hunter, Bounty Hunter 20 saves you 20%. Um, this is our team patch. 
I have the uh, mini light on this. I have the Olight 13T um, in flat dark earth. And it's just a dim little flashlight. It's good for tweaker peeking into things. Um, we do play video games. I'm running my pig gloves. Uh, I turn everybody onto these things. These things are awesome. I've been wearing these for years now. Uh, they allow you to use your smartphone. I have a... Um, I, I, I look at what other people are doing. And uh, I saw Sky have um, a handcuff key uh, on one of these lanyard extension things. So if you drop it, it doesn't fall on the ground. It just comes right back up. So I thought that was a cool idea. So I stole that from him. I've got the uh, ass baton. The agent baton um, with my grip on it. This is the one. This is the famous baton that's broken all the windows and sliding glass doors and um, all kinds of crazy stuff. He I, does the fun stuff like that. I just sit back and watch. I have a warrior. Well, window. you didn't show the back of your vest, and you have a seatbelt ripper on the back of your vest. Um, this is the warrior. This is the warrior X light. It's not the warrior X Pro. This is the warrior X Pro, which is a little bit bigger. Um, this is just the warrior X because I like to have the strobe. Um, so this is it, and it's in flat dark earth, so it matches my handgun, it matches my belt, um, it matches my handgun light and all that stuff. Here. Oh. I like colors. Someone, he used to carry a medical kit on it, but on... on I have one on my test. belt. I have, a, I have a blowout kit on my belt. Um, this is the world famous patch from the BBC documentary. Um, it's in all the promo photos and everything and nobody knows it's there and it says a lot of fucks to give I think uh, Oklahoma's license right yeah Oklahoma's license buy our book from our website we have so this is a this is there. a double taco this is a double taco patch or double double taco pouch um I, I put my handgun magazine in here uh we just got back from Texas and flu so everything's kind of the handguns have to be reloaded and stuff like that we've taken some time <laughs> off I use the axon body camera this is my axon single Molly strap. I have a flat dark earth pair of uh, trauma shears. I have my Taser X2, but I run my X2. I run my X2 with one cartridge because I tase everybody twice, um, and I don't want to. Uh, it's really expensive when you tase them twice because it's like a hundred bucks. So I just run it as a single shot taser, and I, I have a left handed draw on that. And this is a Safari Land um, level two holster for it. I carry a I carry a, C, a Columbia River knife, um, full tang. Man, this thing is so sharp. This, this. I was carrying the um, Gerber knife for a while. I just kind of ran out of, of room because one of the downsides on these vests um, is there's not enough real estate for what I like to carry. Uh, I, I also have a, a bigger, heavier tactical vest, but this is my everyday uh, vest and these things are so comfortable. It's like wearing nothing and promo code on the safe life um, Is bounty hunter 10 saves you 10% off your t your total order and guys that were on last night ordered stuff And I already got emails saying that they're their order. So thank you so much for for uh, supporting because I like to support the companies that support our industry. I Have an extra handcuff key here I'm running. I'm running my awesome ASP and these are the ones I had to replace after the Sovereign Citizen, where my where I, my cuffs went a flying. Um, and we got them at, at, at Handcuff Warehouse. And uh, Handcuff Warehouses uh, engraves your handcuffs for free. Taco. So mine says Taco Bear. Where's mine? That's his problem. Anyway. And uh, this is a dual pouch, but because the ass handcuffs are so large, you can't really fit two cuffs in here. Um, you know, we, we always travel in pairs, so we've always got multiple cuffs on us. For years, I carried two and three sets of handcuffs. This is the 511 VTAC, which is the Kyle Lamb series. Um, Molly pouch. Um, these are my favorite handcuff pouches. I own about 10 of these. They're on every single piece of equipment I've ever owned. Um, I, this is the only handcuff case for me. In the back, I have... I'm kind of slacking a little bit. What? You lagging? Yeah. So, I have this. Um... These are glow sticks. I can turn that on at night, and everybody knows I'm a friendly on my team. And we all have them. Lydia didn't show you that on the back. The other thing she didn't show you was... Oh, gee, because I don't have one. Is this seatbelt ripper. So if I've got to pull you out of your vehicle, oh, I, gee, have... I don't have that either. 
Well, I, must, I gotta take it off your other vest. She has one of these on her back, it's just not on her updated one. These are made by Benchmade. I got them at a gun show in uh, Post Falls. Uh, they were ten bucks. Mm -hmm. I think they were ten dollars. These should, these things will. We should just... stock up on those and like do giveaways and stuff. Um. And then Tackleberry. The cool thing about Safe Life Defense is um, you can get the custom make these for you. Anything that you want. So I have ones that say my name on them, and then I'm, and I'm like, no, I don't want my name on it. I want Tackleberry. And this is what everybody calls me. And no, we don't use our names, our real names. Um. Hey Lydia, I remember in a past YouTube video you were looking on your phone at pets. I think Scott joked that he won't get another pet unless it's a tax write-off. Oh, well, you thinking of getting another pet? Yes, since then we got two horses. <laughs> so we're working with a guy in, in Houston, Texas um, on making uh, ID cards. Um, so s stay tuned for that because we're going to try and get these. We're trying to make them affordable right now for you guys. And... Um, and, and we'll be able to make these custom for you. We're trying to keep them under $30 uh, with free shipping. So we're working with the company. It's really hard to find really good quality ones of these. Um, these were made for us uh, a couple of years ago. And, um, you know, they're, they're, you know, that's a real chip in there. Magnetic swipe. If you scan that, it has all the information. That's Why does yours different than mine? Because I got a new case for it when, I, when I was uh, in Michigan. Why? And you didn't get me one. And there was only one. Mm, I know you got Where did I? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so you know, and we're running the we're running the Patriot Eye um, radios. We went over those heavily yesterday. Um, and I'm, I want to work if, if Zach's listening. Um, he you. said he looked in logged, logged in. Um, we're gonna work up a bundle. We're gonna work up a bundle. I'm going to convince him to work up a bundle. So you've got a stand-up charger, and you've got a microphone and a radio. And then, yeah, it's kind of my, I'm always coming up with ideas. And they're great ideas. My, they're poc so my pocket knife um, is a Gerber pocket knife. Don't ask me what the model of it is. But um, I bought these from uh, my buddy Mark at 3Ops. I own two of these. You can attach a lanyard to them, which is pretty cool. <coughs> um, we talked about these yesterday. Um, Linda go. Uh, these are the Safe Life Defense. This is their other. I I don't run this one, um, though I have it. Uh, this is has the Molly on it. So if you want to do a competition rig, um, and this is the Safe Life Defense um, duty belts. These things are freaking awesome. I I absolutely love mine. Mine's in a FTE color, but you can get them in different colors. So you can color coordinate. Said, I, will I wish they had a gray. If they had a gray, I'd own all gray stuff. I will definitely buy that card. Hmm, I have an idea, Lydia. I will send you the IDE with your SB Winnipeg cup. Ha, I get gifts. You don't. Nobody likes you. <laughs> Thank you. Um... Safe life duty belt seemed too stiff for me. Thank you. That is the point. That is the point with those things. They're extremely stiff. If you look at like my sub second, which I mean, if you want to buy it, I'll sell it to you. Um, it's nowhere near the quality. They're real stiff in the beginning, and the more you wear them, the more they kind of, the more rigid they become, or the less rigid they become. But yeah, that's the whole point. Is um, they're extremely stiff, and in, in that you break them in. Um. Someone said. I'll send you something, Scott. What do you need? You seem like a guy who's got everything. Yeah, that's my mom hated that because um, I, I if I needed something, I bought it. <coughs> I don't really need anything. Um, Surprise me. Safe Life doesn't have measurements on its sighting chart, so any suggestions yeah, for fitting? He says, yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. This is the Baldir. This is the Baldir Pro, the new one that came out. It's uh, I have one of these on my shotgun. Absolutely. So, yes, yeah, so if you like been in a situation and your your gear got in the way, and then you had to switch it. Yeah, absolutely. The taser, his taser. Yeah, but I switched it back. No, exactly. He had his taser 
to drop in the left yeah, hand. Yeah, it, was was it was this holster, and I drew here, and I had to switch the other hand, and the guy hit my taser when I was switching hands. It's in the video. Yeah, and so... Um, we didn't cut it out, and there was, like, this big discussion. Well, I saw you. You dropped your taser, and uh, you're, you know, and it's like, well, yeah, whatever, man. You weren't there. You don't know. Yeah, so, yeah. You and sound then like he, a Democrat. You just and then, he, and, then he, and, then he, and then he got my... And then he got a hold of the taser, and then... We took care Greetings of from Germany. Brownsville in the house. Hey, Brownsville. That's uh, Zeke or... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, you even knew who it was. It's... Yeah, we're going to be friends one day. We're moving to Texas. Just waiting on all that licensing. Oh, we're moving to Texas to be with my mama. <clears throat> I have so. a question. If you had a fugitive and they request medical attention, don't give it to them. No. <laughs> and you call an ambulance, but of the ambulance will not let you ride in the back with the fugitive. What would you do? Oh, yeah. You, 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 um, well, then you, unless, unless they have to be transported by an ambulance, why would you be calling an ambulance? Like if they were shot or they had a broken leg um, other than that, just drive them to an urgent there care is. or a standalone emergency room, yeah. and, and 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 then bring them in on yourself. I wouldn't let an ambulance transport unless it was unless it was something that was critical or urgent. Um, if they wouldn't let me, uh, you know, ride, I don't see why they wouldn't let you ride. I mean, they let law enforcement ride. You know, is it fire department? Is it AMR? Um, you know, what's their policy on that? Um, you don't give them an option. You ain't taking my guy unless you know unless we're going in. Or at least somebody rides, whether yeah. they're like they don't want guns. And in I'd ride. Or... I'd ride in the back. I, I wouldn't ride in the front seat because you do could dart up. Um, I mean, it's a really good. That's a really good question. It's a really valid question. I would get my guy to my ho the hospital on my own. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Oh, I wouldn't let an ambulance take him, unless, like I said, it was something that an ambulance had to take him. I mean, I worked on an ambulance for for five years, and you know, the he majority, knows how to do the the majority of the people that we transported were bullshit and didn't even need an ambulance. We were just kind of a taxi for the port of the hospital. They think that they could get in faster into the emergency room if they came in on a stretcher versus uh, went into the lobby. And so it's, it's abused really bad. What is a process server? Process server is somebody that serves paperwork I served for for civil or or, or criminal uh, complaints i served papers. subpoenas yeah so or like divorce papers what i served two sundays ago to this lady's husband um he's yeah and when i just walked up to his parents his truck was there i'm sure he was there but he kind of sent something so in our state you can serve the mom or anybody over the age of 18 and so this is this is the um card it's like it's like a credit card and because they stay in protectors, I mean, they're like, they're like brand. These things are old, and they're like brand new. Glocks suck, and they're for men that don't have cocks. There you go. <laughs> I'm not a Glock. Man. Whatever tool makes you happy. If you click it and it goes bang and it's reliable, then carry it. Just make sure that you. I mean, with Glocks, there's you can get good holsters for Glocks to where, you know, with, um, you know, Taurus, you're not going to get as good holster. Hello from Canada. What? Okay. Hey, Canada. America's hat, eh? Scott, are you still an EMT? I just let my EMT expire. I had my national registry. I've been an EMT since I was 18 years old, which is a very long time. Do you guys have a cage? I still have the skills, though. Do you guys have a cage in the back of your vehicles? Because I know a lot of FRA, like Bounty Tank and Dog the Bounty Hunter, don't. So kind of debating going to a police auction, getting an old Ford. As long as it doesn't look like a cop car, you know? Like well, I people. ran. A, I ran a Vic for. But I you're a Vic, retarded. I ran a Vic for three years, and everybody's like, "How do you do surveillance in that?" Well, you know what? I still caught everybody, and I still made a lot of money. And then he went to a Prius. <laughs> well, we used a Prius for a little bit. Nobody expected you to pull up in the golf cart, but um, okay. Switch you, charging. you know the um, whatever it's whatever you're comfortable with, um. I mean, the, you know, us older, experienced guys, we don't really run the we don't run the cage units as much. It is really nice to have. You're not safe for transporting. Um, is the Canic your favorite duty gun? Why does it stop? No, Sig P three twenty X VTAC is my favorite duty gun. But I'm using the Canic now just because I like the trigger, and you know they're a great gun for three hundred bucks. They're a great gun. I have a gun safe full of a lot of different handguns. Mm -hmm. I could carry. I mean, I carry my H and K forever. 
Sometimes I feel like carrying my H and K, and because my whole system is with is is Safari Land modular, I just take whatever holster I want. So if I run or run my VP9, everything's the same. The draw, you know, everything everything's identical. Um, so, how should I set my gear if I wear a smooth ballistic vest? Should I put everything on my belt? Well, you'd have to put everything on your belt if you ran a smooth vest. I mean, Robert, I'm working on a video right now with Robert. Robert wears, um, you know, Robert wears the smooth vest, and he carries everything on his bat belt. That works for him. If that's a system that works for you, then do it. Um, I, I, I've I, never run a, really ran a duty belt. What's on my belt is holster, tourniquet, um, drop pouch, and OC. That's what's on my that's what's on my belt. I don't carry the OC on my vest. I have an OC pouch um, on my drop leg holster system. So, you know, it's whatever. I, I, I used to run real heavy, real heavy. I had everything. Um, and it was nice, and it was heavy. And then I got in a car accident in 2016. I uh, totaled the vehicle and just kind of lightened the load after that and been running light ever since then. I still, I, I would love to have way more stuff on my vest. I, I really I really would. I'd love to put my giant ass Gerber knife that's this big back on it. I mean, shit, I used the within the first week of having it on my vest, I pried a door open and got our fugitive out. Do you ever carry flex cups or zip ties? Uh, mission specific, if I think I might need them, I, I do. I used to always carry them, um, and now they just sit in the trunk. So that'd be a no. Um, what is Scott the longest time them. you can leave somebody with handcuffs? The rule of thumb that I teach, um, and as a as an ASP instructor, thirty minutes, thirty minutes is the is the maximum that I want to have somebody in handcuffs, and then transfer them over to waist chains, at that point. Um, but if they're being a knucklehead, then you know, you got to do what you got to do. But you do you you do not you know we don't get in this industry to punish anybody. Um, and you can't ever use your tools as punishment, so. Someone flipped you off. Oh, okay. Isaiah Torres. Should I block him? No. Because he's probably giving you the thumbs down. Oh, yeah. It's funny that they hate, even the haters watch. Any new videos coming? Yeah, I'm working on them. Do I'm working on them. Do you use less lethal pepper ball? No. No, I was just watching a riot video in Miami. And the riot police had a full auto uh, pepper thing, and they went across people's feet, <laughs> across their feet. I know dog used one and stuff. Man, those things. Because that's all you can use. Because he's a felon. But um. But uh, no, we don't. I don't use them. How does it work for dropping someone off at the jail? Yeah, make sure you have all your paperwork in order. Um, I I like to go to the jail during business hours because. Um, you get to deal with the jail staff, which is usually a lot friendlier than um, the correctional officers. Though we've been really lucky, we've got some great COs, and um, you know we've got some you know great COs. So we make sure our paperwork's in order. We buzz in and, sure and we're in the lobby. The we make sure that all the, that they're searched and that all their property's in a Ziploc bag. And that they don't have anything on them, that their pockets are out, that they're handcuffed, you know, the way the jail wants them. Our jail, Kootenai County, our primary jail, Kootenai County, they want handcuffs behind the back, no matter what. So, um, we uh, handcuff them behind their back because that's the jail, that's the preferred way that the jail wants us to do it. Um, and what, we get in and out of the jail a lot faster when she's here versus two dudes. Um, they'll take forever. But if they see the cute girl, they always come out faster. But I'm never cute. I've been telling you that since the beginning, and that's been so true, hasn't it? No. Yeah, Spokane County Jail way back in the day. No. Yeah. They'll come out and they look. Even the little dykey lesbians come out and, like, look. <sighs> Freddie. Has to be Freddie. One of the dogs just passed gas. Have you ever worked with federal agents like, yes, the U.S. Marshals. Mm -hmm. Wait, let me tell my story on the U.S. Marshals. When I worked with them, oh, Freddie. It's like insides are rotting or something. Um... So I was new at this, and we are waiting. The guy's name, I know, was Lucy something. Jacob Lucy. Jacob Lucy. He was really a bad dude. We go into his, like, girlfriend's house. Or his we mom's. found him. Yeah, we ended up finding him. We found him, but we couldn't get any backup, and he's too much of a runner and a fighter. And it was just two of us. So I tried to call everybody in. So we hit the house the next day. 
Go on with your story. And there was this little female U.S. Marshal. All the guys were cool. She was not a. She was a deputy U.S. Marshal, um, but she was actually a deputy sheriff that was assigned to the marshals. She wasn't a real marshal. Okay. Well, then that's why she sucked. Why are we buffering? She sucked. She was so mean to me. Look at the freeze. Yes, I work with the U.S. Marshals all the time. Marshals are great. Um, we were working on that Bobby Brown file, and I got Bobby Brown. That was through uh, my Mar U.S. Marshal contacts. That um, I thought M Bobby Brown for sure would have U.S. Marshal contacts, but he didn't really have any. Um, so I turned them on to my people. Yes, we hawked at a guy one time. Um, what did he do? He's dead now. Oh, yeah, he died. I no. Not because of us hog tying him. No, he ran out of the car. Oh, yeah. He popped his seatbelt. He was handcuffed behind his back. He was able to pop his seatbelt, hold on to it, and then when we pulled into the sally port, he let go of it, and it was our Tahoe at the time. And then and then he popped the door and got out and ran. The, the, fortunately for us, he ran the wrong way. He ran to the closed door and uh, had to come back around, and then um, uh, I was able to detain him and hold him as the garage door shut down and crushed him. And uh, so we hogtied that guy, took him to the hospital, got him medically cleared, and then uh, no, we like three weeks later, he died. Uh, he OD. A lot of people have arrested of OD. Clayton Stroh, Clayton, he well, he hung himself in jail, but I let him see his, uh, I let him see his son, and he gave his family hugs and stuff, and then we handcuffed him up and took him to the Franklin County Jail, and then he ended up hanging himself. You can, oh, you can, no, you can Google his name, Clayton Stroh. Like the beer. This guy's new, so they asked if I was your daughter. He's a new subscriber. No. Yeah, I mean, watch our videos and you determine for yourself who, she, who exactly she is. I'm married. I think, what did they say your name was? Linda. No, that's your drunk name. What's your regular name? Lydia. Lydia. I think that's her name on my finger. Be kind of creepy if I, kind of be like, kind of be very Arkansas if I had your name tattooed on my You'd be dead. I would kill you. That's, that's pretty creepy. But hey, Arkansas marriage is legal at what, 14? Oh, yeah. Let's not do that. No. So you can marry your cousin. How come we don't have anybody from Arkansas? Could you grab and show us your AR-15 setup? Maybe we could do that tomorrow. Because we're running on an hour now. All my stuff's down. In, all my stuff's in a gun safe. Well, I mean, I can talk about it. We can do that tomorrow. We can do the KSG and the uh, and uh, my M400, my Sig M400. Well, I'm, I'm down to for your that. Daughter. Wow. <laughs> There's only like fifteen. Do I look like his daughter? He's fucking white. I'm fucking pure Mexican. Okay. There's only like fifteen year difference between us. Why you gotta hate on us? Someone is slow. Thank you. <laughs> this comment's hidden. It says it doesn't show for other people to read it, but it says this comment from J Mail Man. What happens if you accidentally taser a subject in the butt and it's hidden? No one can see it. But we taste. We taste this. We taste somebody in class. We got him right. We got him right in the butt. Not necessarily the butthole, but I think it was pretty darn close to the butthole. Who's who is a better cook? Depends. It depends. She makes really good salsa. I don't touch salsa. I can make really good pizzas, uh, barbecue. Um, I have a couple of dishes that I make. But we don't really... I mean, we eat out. We we eat out. Holy well, shit. Imagine how much money we'd have if we didn't eat out. Um, but we, we ain't eating out anymore. We eat out a whole hell of a lot. But I am a better cook. Not to say that I... I am. Yeah. I will hurt you because I am. She, she has her dishes that are amazing, and I have my dishes that... He has his one of the two dishes he makes that are delicious. <laughs> Whatever. But, I mean, we eat out mostly. I mean, I prefer her breakfast over my breakfast, so I guess she does cook more stuff than me. So what? No, it's his sister. God, people are restless. They're joking. Do I look like his sister? Mm -mm. Stinky supposedly my sister in French TV or in Japanese TV. I could be your sister. 
kidding, Wyatt. How many brain cells you got? <laughs> you guys be nice. He was joking. Salsa is not cooking. <laughs> oh, don't tell a Mexican that. Her salsa takes her a long time to make, and her salsa is the favorite of everybody that knows her, loves her salsa. Yeah, it's not. I mean, you are a dickwad. No, but it's really not. Is, is, is making it's not, is though. making a pasta salad cooking? Yeah, is making you a have coleslaw. To boil the pasta. The pasta. What about what? A, pasta what about uh? Because that's cooking. You have to cook the pasta. That's cooking. Salsa, you just chop everything or put it in a blender and blend it, and then there you go. That's not cooking. Not everybody can make salsa. Don't hate on them. Lydia will knock some sense into them. <laughs> Yeah, don't no. piss her off. Do the well, mechanic as well tomorrow. I kind of look pretty tired. What is the plans for traveling? We will be traveling soon to Texas again. Where else? North Carolina? Yeah, North Carolina and, and Miami. And Miami. Who's ever out there, oh. we would love to meet you. Just bring me coffee and don't poison it. Um... Dustin McGee, watch from video title, His Girlfriend Panics When We Show Up. That's not one of ours. Mm. Do you like patty mayo, guys? No. I Okay, he's now that he's a real bounty hunter, that's good for him. Congratulations. But, he was never a real cop. I know. He was because never if a he was a cop, he he's would have been a bounty joke hunter. guy that... But ev let's not but even talk about that. Bounty Hunter doesn't. He just gave the everybody. He doesn't message. shout out us, so why the fuck would we shout out him? He gold could have digger Bounty Hunter with tank. Daddy issues. You're a gold digger with daddy issues. Okay, I'm gonna block this guy. Who said that? I don't know. Gold digger with daddy issues. Gold digger. Is there any gold that you've been? Have you found any gold with all that digging? Four years still looking. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have daddy issues? Absolutely. Apparently, they all know me better than I do. <laughs> how come How come you have the daddy issues? What issues do I have? Oh. Fuck. What is, what is it like having your step-grandma's aunt as a partner? Your step-grandma's... I don't know, because you guys stop. What You're the fuck does that mean? Stupid. I'm going to block you because I have control over this, so keep it up. Um, as far as being a bounty hunter and you have to travel, what do you consider when traveling for work? What do I consider? I carry the basic four. I make sure I always carry my shackles. My shackle bag, which is uh, my handcuff thing if you go under training. Or look for it, it's uh, my restraint bag. I always make sure I have my restraint bag on me, um, have lots of water, um, comfortable footwear, comfortable clothing. The thing that sucks about uh, once you've got your defendant into custody and if you have to go through multiple states is you don't shut off. You're always on and you're always in this this heightened state of awareness and, and on guard. So when you when you finally do drop your guy off at the jail, it's, it's like pure, it's like pure, it's like exhaust, you're exhausted because you've been on for how many ever hours your drive or your transport is. Wow, this guy wants to shut up. Are you willing to change his diaper in five years? Want to just talk about Patrick Scott? My diaper? I'm, I'm going to be in a diaper when, when I'm in my, when I'm 50? Woo, I'm going to be in a diaper. Who the fuck is Scary. this? What's this fucking dipshit's name? Wyatt or Phil. I'm going to block you, Phil, unless you apologize. You'll just create a new name and be here tomorrow. Watches. I didn't want to see your watch. Talk about watches. I, I have this watch in every color and style imaginable. I got them on eBay. I don't spend a lot of money on watches because they don't last. I would like a, G, a real nice G-Shock in FTE so it matches the rest hmm, of my Does stuff. Lydia have a sister? Yes, but she's all mesh and you don't want to be in that part. <laughs> Yeah, she has lots of sisters. Most of them are up to no good. But they're like adopted sisters, so. Okay, okay, be honest. Do you carry a pee jug? Uh, no, <laughs> no I, I don't carry a pee jug. Uh, He'll take this, cut the top off, and pee in it. Not that's too small. <laughs> I can't fit out. But like if you like get, you know, like a Diet Coke or something from McDonald's to get the large ones. 
Uh, keep the lid, throw it in the back seat, um, and pee in it if you have to. I mean, yeah. Uh, anybody that's ever sit surveillance, any private investigator or fugitive agent, they they have absolutely had to pee in a cup or a jug. But I don't I don't carry like a jug, like a gallon jug, and fill it up like them truckers do. I don't do shit like that. No. How old is she? Her? I'm 37. None of your fucking business. What the fuck? <laughs> you think you have a chance stealing her away from me? Maybe. What does it matter? <laughs> what does it matter what her fucking age is? I'm 37 Holy and a half. Holy shit. Don't forget the half. It's very important. Um, geez, these stupid trolls. Guys, don't listen to him. Thank you. How do you, I get tasered for fun? Take a class. So you can get tasered and get certified. Um, are you allowed to smoke weed if it's legal in your state off duty as a... I wouldn't work with you. Yeah. I mean, it you was, can if it's legal. Why couldn't you? I mean, you're not a cop. It's not like you're working for the Department of Corrections or your police department that has a policy against it. But um, if you get into a, uh, a lethal confrontation <laughs> and you get drug tested and you test positive for um, you test positive for 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 a drug and marijuana is a drug, um, you're gonna get sued. Well, so what a hater. Um, this message is also blocked, but I'm going to show it. It says, Phil as, Phil's as old as Scott, I bet. Everything in my bank, but he's just jelly as fuck. Yeah, guys, 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 guys hate me. Or If you guys want to chance with me, women I hate, will murder you women if I leave me. him for you. Women hate me and men want to be me. Um, how did you guys meet? Yeah, we'll save that for another video. There's another live with that in there. Uh, have any of you been arrested? I, I'm. I have I've been charged a shit bunch of times. I've been charged with stuff. I'm a cop and don't need your girlfriend. I'm his wife. Thank you very much. Congratulations on being. Why can't people be happy for them? Thank you. Thank you. I'm a cop. Yeah, yeah. I was a cop. Ooh. Ooh. And a border patrol agent. Ooh. Federal. Federal. Department of Ooh. Justice. Class 234. I stopped drinking and smoking as a college student trying to get into... I look good for my age. Who said I look good for my age? Thank you. Thank you, Alfonso. Angel. Sorry. Alfonso. I called you Alfonso. It's his last name. I wanted to be a bounty hunter, but not now. I don't care really. About three minutes. We're going to wrap it up here in about three minutes. Fire away your final gear questions. Captain Bounty Hunter Tank does smoke weed, but no on the back of permit voted if you're drunk. Bounty Hunter, Bounty Hunter Tank. I, 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 I like DUI. Frank, and he got a DUI sitting in surveillance um, in a bar and got a DUI. I mean, okay, I'm going to go through I mean, that sucks. That sucks for him. It, it really does. And um, I feel bad for him, but he's a super good dude. He's a he's a great guy. He does a lot for his community. Um, have nothing but good things to say about him. Uh, the other uh, really good bounty hunters on Phil, I'm blocking you. The other really good bounty hunters on YouTube with TCAT, um, Twin Cities um, Apprehension Team Stu. Uh, he's a personal friend of mine. Great dude. Great dude. Gene Thacker. Um, tattoo out of New Orleans. He didn't have a YouTube channel, but he's on Facebook and he goes live. He does his hunts live on Facebook. He used to have a TV show called um, Big Easy Justice. Best bounty hunter show ever freaking made um, by far. So there are some really good, real. There used to be a guy, uh, the Bond guy, but um, he got sick and had to get out of the business. But he still has some good stuff on his channel. Yes, we do sometimes buy our fugitives food. Yeah, we buy it. If, they if have, they're cool, if we ask, I mean, if, if they're being cool, I'll, I'll, I'll ask somebody, hey man, when was, the, when was the last, especially a homeless person, when was the last time you ate, man? Um, the last one we picked up for uh, French TV, they didn't even show us feeding her. <laughs> we went through the drive through McDonald's and picked her up some food. So um, we do feed people. No we way. do care. I mean, we do have a heart. So, I mean, Stacy Dooley was like, oh my God, Scott, I thought you were the biggest asshole in the world, but you're actually. You actually do care. So. And I'm there laughing like. <laughs> um, no way. You are really 37. Damn. You do not look 37. Wow. Thank you. I look like a kid. But thank you. She's not That's, 37. I'm not 37. But thank you. Take about 10 years off that. But she's just a gold digger. With daddy issues. I'm going to pop this and I'm going to hit you in the head. You don't have to. This is the 
This is the ass baton that you can actually extend like that and then push a button. I hate that. Let's go on, I Tommy. Hate the button. If you're if you're into gear, you really like gear. Um, Tommy, free field training on uh, YouTube. Um, yep. He's a, he's a friend of ours. Um, we met him at Shot Show. He is really good at gear reviews. Make sure you subscribe to his page, Instagram. We're on Bounty Hunter Bootcamp One. I really don't do Facebook. I hate Facebook, but you're more than welcome to follow us on Facebook as well. We thank you so much. Make sure that you hit the subscribe button, turn the bell on. Monday's video, I haven't really decided which one it's going to be yet, so I can't really preview it. But within the next two weeks, the hunt I did with Bobby Brown um, in Colorado Springs is going to be oh, live. Scott so. and Lydia are my idols. Thank you. Zeke Bobby Brown is the freaking most Zeke. badass, coolest person I've met in a long time. Guys, love your so. channel. Thank you. And as... <laughs> I stated in the beginning, this live was brought to you by Bucky Mints. I was wondering if you guys know. Okay. Relationship goals. See, that's the kind of people I like. Love is love. Love is love. Sometimes I question why I love you. I know. Um, okay. Love you guys. Be safe out there. I know all my shit gets blocked on YouTube. I'm profane. What can you do? Patch Panel, brand new affiliate, brand new affiliate, Patch Panel, save 20% on your order with uh, Bounty Hunter 20, save 20% on your Patch Panel, Just to go on your vest, they come in all different sizes, No, but we've company. met Rob Dick before. Yeah, well, who, who'd they ask? If we worked with Rob Dick. No, uh, no, um, I talk to him all the time, Rob Dick's a cool dude. Um Anyway, thank you guys. Thank you for everybody that was standing up for us when the haters were on. Yeah, some people just come on here to troll for whatever. So tomorrow we're going to talk. Tomorrow we're going to talk about weapon systems, I guess. So I'll have a lot of different stuff here. We'll have to make some kind of room because the the guns are kind of bigger than the screen here. But I'll I'll go into in depth detail on what I what I did, why I did it, and stuff, and. Uh, show you I put you my money where my mouth is with my old lights so anyway you're so handsome <laughs> look at those eyes alrighty Bucky's thanks guys heck yeah see you guys then can't wait you should try rigid cuffs love your channel be safe guys rigid cuffs no nope, not a fan and of rigid watch cuffs six. Angel Alfonso thank you guys peace out See you guys tomorrow. We'll try to come on between six Adios, and seven. Assholes. Nobody likes you. <laughs> kidding. That's gotta be a t shirt. We'd, ha we'd have more t shirts if it if it if if Lydia did her job. Yeah, I know. I have a set of UK rigid die? police cuffs. I have a set of them. How the do we hit this button? Adios. Assholes. Nobody likes you.